All right, Advent of Code, day nine. Starting now, what do we got? Hang glider, bunch of numbers. Uh, for each history, okay, fine. I see. Are we putting out the Happily backwards. Nice. Okay, uh, so what's going on here? So we are asked to do sequence prediction, uh, and we are given just many different sequences, line by line. They're totally separate. And the question is, what's the next number in the sequence? Okay, well, it could be anything. So what is the rule? So the rule that they say is uh, take differences and if it's all zeros, then you know that the next number is zero. If it's not all zeros, then take differences again. Uh, right, until you get all zeros. Um, this is guaranteed to happen eventually, like if you, well, yeah, if you start with like these six numbers, I don't know, eventually you get down to one number. I guess that one number might not be zero. Uh, but fine, they told us that it would be. Uh, let's see. So, fine. So that's the procedure, is start with some sequence, take the differences, keep taking the differences until you get a zero. Then you can write a zero here. Then you can compute this number is the last number in the sort of previous line plus zero. So, you know, whatever this was again. This number is the last number in the second previous line plus this, and so on, until you get actually get a new number in the original sequence. And that's how to do part one. So let me adjust this so that it actually handles part one and part two. Uh, false, 
two, two. Okay, so the calculation. Uh, wait, I didn't actually talk about part two yet. Part two is the same thing, but going backwards. Um, so in part one, zero if part two else negative one. Zero if part two else negative one. I think that's correct. This is probably not the nicest way to write this. Uh, So this gives 190, blah, 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 887, and 905. Okay. So, for, uh, so we're, I'm going to write a recursive function that does this. It takes a sequence and it gives you the next thing. And that is a good idea because uh, that's sort of how this is constructed, right? We want to keep going until we get a sequence of all zeros, in which case we can just return zero. Uh, I suppose here I could just write zero. Maybe that's clearer. And uh, then we need the next number sort of at the previous line. So uh, take the previous thing, take the last number, and add uh, whatever difference, you know, whatever the next number for this differences thing was. Um, or another way to put it is for the original sequence, what we need to do is compute the next number of the difference sequence and then add that to the last number. And that'll get us our next number. So that's like our recursive formula. And the base case is we have an all zero sequence. Um, and part two was the same thing, except you want to go find the next number for, uh, backwards, right before, instead of the next number after. Um, but it's basically the same thing. Again, you do this recursive thing based on the differences. The base case is zero, return zero. And otherwise, find go to the different sequence, find the number before recursively. And then subtract that from the first number to get the previous number, right? Because the previous number plus the difference equals the first number. So the previous number equals the difference equals the first number minus the difference. So just do that. Recursively find the previous number from the difference sequence, and then subtract it uh, from the first number. Um, so that is really it for day nine. Uh, see you tomorrow.